I have always been intrigued by the wallpaper squares at the Dollar Tree and so a couple months ago I decided to test them out in my studio space and let's just say I was impressed. What the heck? Why is that so cute? And it really got me thinking, how else can I make use of this gem that only costs $1.25? Okay, so right off the bat, I wanted to try this on more of like a full wall. And so I decided to tackle the bathroom that's here in the studio as well. It looks like your typical bathroom that's like in an office space, just sort of sad and dim. And I just feel like a palm leaf wallpaper would make this better, don't you? Now my little trick here is I'm taking down the mirror. I do this anytime I'm in any rental space. Every house I have ever rented or apartment always has these like stupid clip-on mirrors that are just not all that pretty. And so my favorite little like renter hack, take down these little mirrors. You can just undo the clips. The mirror piece will come right off. You can hang it back up when you leave, but then replace it with a nicer mirror, which is what we're gonna do here. But first I'm just taking the mirror down and then I am installing the wallpaper. I find that the Dollar Tree wallpaper squares are honestly pretty darn easy to use. I do wish the patterns overlap just slightly because I think it would make installing a little easier, but it's really not that hard. And my best wallpaper hack, and especially if you're just like DIYing this as an amateur like I am, is that it's usually totally fine if it's not exactly perfect. 99.9% .9 of people who look at your wallpapered wall are not going to notice if you have a little flubber mess up somewhere. So don't stress out too much about your installation. Try to get it as best you can, but don't like overstress about like any little imperfection. You can always worst case scenario, come back with a strip of wallpaper and like fill in any spots. Then I just went ahead and added the new mirror. I got this one from TJ Maxx for $39, which was a total steal. And wow, it is amazing how much better it makes this space look for less than $20 in wallpaper squares. With like a few more little touches in this bathroom, I could make it so cute on such a budget. Definitely stay tuned. We're gonna be DIYing some more in this bathroom, probably Dollar Tree style to see what we can do. Okay, let's look at some other ways to use these squares. I have this very cheap side table I got on Amazon. It was like $25 cheap. And I'm removing the little knobs that come with and I'm covering it in the geometric wallpaper. And then I went ahead and replaced the knobs with these nicer gold ones. I got these for like $2 each on Amazon. I love how this instantly gave the side table such an updated and upscaled look. It's so much cuter, it definitely improves the look of this very cheap little nightstand for less than $10 in supplies. Okay, let's look at another option using that same geometric wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna wallpaper the back of some bookshelves. I think it is such a fun way to add a little bit of flair to shelves, especially if you have like open shelving. I have these shelves where we store my kids' shoes and I just removed the shelves first. And then I went ahead and covered the whole back of the shelf. Now my best tip with wallpaper is don't try to cut it to the exact size you need. It is better to cut an approximate length going larger than you need than press the paper into the corners or into any obstacles then use an X-Acto blade to cut the excess. I once binge watched this wallpaper guy on YouTube and the way that he explained it is he said, you wanna bring your wallpaper to the obstacle. And so I always just think of that if I'm going around like a light fixture, there's any sort of like obstacle in the wall that I'm working around, I don't try to cut the wallpaper first. I bring the wallpaper to the obstacle and then I cut. I'm gonna put the shelves back in and then obviously put the shoes back in. And I just think this adds such a fun little like pop to the back of these shelves. I think it's really cute because like I said, this is where we store my kids' shoes. So they thought it was so fun that there was like a little flare in the back of their shelves as well. Okay, next up we're gonna use this wallpaper on some lamps. And I'm listening to Dashboard Confessional in the background. So I'm sorry if it's bothersome. So the first idea I have, I'm actually going to use the wallpaper on the inside. I also have this like wood grain wallpaper because I got one of each kind. And I have not done a DIY with this wallpaper yet because I'm gonna be honest It's just my least favorite of all the Dollar Tree wallpapers Let me know in the description box down below which of the wallpapers is your least favorite Keep on after you. Doesn't make it easier. Oh, look at that. It's like just not enough. That's so irritating Okay, I will say one thing I really dislike about this wallpaper from Dollar Tree is I wish the back had grids of any kind because it would make cutting pieces better. The contact paper that they sell does, so I just, I wish this did too. I wish that I was anywhere with anyone. All right, wish me luck. It's treacherous. It's so sticky. Okay, you can do this, Callie. Believe in yourself. Okay, okay, I got it. I haven't trimmed it yet, but that is gonna be cute. All right, we're gonna do one more where I'm gonna cover the entire lampshade, mostly just because I want another excuse to use my palm tree uh, wallpaper. Can't explain to you how many times I 
scream this song at the top of my lungs, driving to high school, just get into math class for 7.45 in the morning. Really wondering if this is actually gonna stick. Like, will this stick to fabric? I don't know, we're about to find out. Won't you kill me so I die happy? I remember when I used to listen to this song in high school and he says the line, my hopes are so high that your kiss might kill me, so won't you kill me so I die happy? And I was listening to this in the car with my mom and she's like, oh, this is not a nice song because, you know, they said the word kill. And I was like, I know it's not really exactly what he means, but funny thing is totally something I would say now as a mom. So I get it now, mom, I get it. Oh my God, is that not the cutest little lampshade ever? Okay, I'm sorry, that is cute. Okay, so for this next DIY, I got a bunch of these little square frames from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to take pieces of the wallpaper and put them inside and make like a huge art installment. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna do yet. Okay, so now we're going to hang these up. I am not going to get a level or measure it. I'm just gonna wing it. This isn't Bob Vila. You're just watching some random woman's YouTube video online, so. All right, we have done it. How much is this one that's really obviously off balance bothering you? There, we fixed it. Come, come look closer. Another fun place to use wallpaper for a little pop is the side of drawers. It's just a little like unexpected flare when you open the doors of like a dresser or a nightstand or whatever. I also think it can make a less expensive cabinet feel a little more high end because it's this like little detail that you wouldn't get with a cheaper dresser. You could also use it to line the inside of drawers as well. But I did these fun little like silver dashes on the dresser that we keep in our nursery and I think it's just so sweet and whimsical in a really fun way to dress up a basic dresser. Okay, so by this point, I was kind of getting like a little bit addicted and I was like, all right, what else can I like stick this wallpaper on? And I had these candles that are fine, but I don't always love the way that the colors and designs of candles fit into my home aesthetic. Maybe you love the scent of something, but it doesn't like match your style. So with a quick wrap of Dollar Tree wallpaper, they instantly become a lot more sort of muted and aesthetic. You don't have the words and the lettering on them anymore. I especially loved the way that this one with the tile look, this is actually the Dollar Tree um, peel and stick tile. So they have like peel and stick wallpaper and then peel and stick tile. And the tile is actually like embossed. So it looks so nice and so high end. It literally makes this candle look like it's expensive ceramic, like blue and white ceramic candle. Another thing that I tried the Dollar Tree tile on um, because I really loved the way that it looked was I had this just like basic plastic black waste basket. You get these for like $3 at Walmart or wherever. And I was like, I bet the tile would look really nice on this as well. Cause again, the tile has that sort of depth to it. You guys, come on, for $2.50, this is such a good transformation. And as I was looking at it, I was like, this would be a really pretty plant stand as well. And I tried putting my faux olive tree in here. And I think that looks super nice as well. Now I will tell you the tile has slightly different backing than the wallpaper does. It's like kind of detached from the tile. It still works totally fine, but just a note, when you work with it, the wallpaper is easier to use than the tile, depending on how you are DIYing. Like if you're just putting it on a wall, I would say they're equivalent. But if you're doing other kinds of DIYs, the tile might be a little more tricky. I actually ended up using a tiny bit of hot glue um, when I attach it to the wastebasket. Okay, one last option is to use your wallpaper to cover a frame. If you have a frame that you just wanna jazz up, maybe you don't love the color or the style, I did this boring black frame just to make it a little more fun and exciting. But this would also be amazing on like a big mirror that had a super large frame. Like I'm thinking about actually that blue and white peel and stick tile. Going back to that, if you put that on the frame of a mirror, that would look so amazing and so pretty. But I think this is just such a great way to jazz up a picture frame. All right, my friends, that's some ideas on how to use the peel and stick wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. I've been very, very impressed with these. I like the styles they have. I wish they would come out with even more because I feel like I could have so much fun with these. I feel like they do have at least one design for each style like that you might have. One that's more like whimsical and one that's a little bit more farmhouse and then one that's a little bit more eccentric or whatever. So I do appreciate that they do that. There are honestly endless ways to use this wallpaper. These are just some of the ones that I wanted to share with you guys today. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hey, remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.